Hey guys, my name is Woods. If you ever wonder which container storage to use for which resources that you're trying to extract from the ground, I got you covered. So when you are on your outpost to trying to pull out your extractors, you can see all the ones that are available. On this outpost, I got water, vapor, it's the same thing as water, and we got chlorine, and we have uh, closed silence, and we also have water. So whenever you put uh, the extractors down, so I'm going to show you what I'm talking about. So this is the one for the water vapor. And as you can see, if you look on the left side of the word water, you can see a symbol. That symbol signifies liquid. So you know that you need a liquid container storage for this resource. And if you look at this one, the closed silence, you can see next to the left of the word the closed silence, you can see the symbol for liquid. So that's how you distinguish for liquid because you can see the picture of the water drop. Now, if we go to this one, you can see the symbol right next to the word uh, chlorine. You can see that it's gas. That's the symbol for gas. This means you're going to use the gas storage container to actually store this resource. Now, that is one way to differentiate which one is what. Now, if I go to the bill menu, now in the container section, you can see that you have the transfer container. This one does not have a symbol because you can put anything in this one. That's how you transfer every single material you have on your outpost. And then you can just pick them up on the ground or you can go from your ship and pick them up. Now, if you see this one solid, although we don't have solid materials in uh, this outpost, but you can see the symbol for solid container on uh, the left side where it says the word solid to the right of it you can see a picture of a box or folders looking kind of thing that's how you differentiate which one is going to use that type of storage and then uh, you can see for this liquid same thing you can see the picture of the liquid like we already mentioned and then for gas storage you can see the picture of gas next to the word gas now, if you are asking what kind of uh, resources go into the warehouse container, as you can see on the left side, it says manufactured goods. So things like uh, adaptive frame would go in there. Those are some of the ways that you can differentiate which resources go to which container. Now, another way to differentiate which resources goes to what container, if you place that the container like I do right here, as you can see, and you can also see the symbol for each of them. Now, when you go over to the extractor, if you are trying to create an output link, like for instance, I'll do this one, then I'm getting ready to connect it. It highlights which container is going to be necessary for this type of resource. This means if you weren't paying attention to the highlighted version and you're trying to put it on this one, it'll tell you exactly that no, this is not allowed. And if I try to put it on this one, it will also tell you that this is not allowed. That is another easy way to differentiate which container can store which resources. Same thing for the gas one. So if I click the link, as you can see, it goes straight to this one, the chlorine would have to go into this one because it's a gas storage and if i try to put it on the other one you can see it says no the game already tells you which one that you have to use so that's another way to differentiate it now for solid materials as you can see if i try to put water in this one right here it says no i cannot do that but if i try to put this one which is copper right here if i try to link it right here it will let me do that. So as you can see, it's already highlighted, show me that I can do this. So that's how you differentiate which material goes to which containers. Anyway, guys, that's all for today. Thanks for watching. I will see you guys in the next one.